Hello, and welcome to the Maryland Choral Society's March 2021 concert, A Royal Feast. My name is Douglas Buchanan, and it's my great honor to serve as Artistic Director of the Maryland Choral Society. I'm so pleased that you've joined us today to share in this celebration of music. The concert will be divided into two parts. First, a performance of Franz Joseph Haydn's jubilant Te Deum, along with a special message from the members of the Maryland Choral Society followed by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's Coronation Mass. The concert footage you'll see was recorded live on March 3rd, 2019. We were thrilled to perform these gorgeous and regal works then. We hope that they inspire you, and that if you find the music meaningful, you might be willing to help provide a royal feast for those in need. During this concert, we would like to invite you to make a special donation today to support the work of local food pantries that are doing critical work at this time. All donations today will go to help the Oxen Hill Food Pantry and the Fort Washington Food Pantry. The Oxen Hill Food Pantry is a 501c3 nonprofit that has been serving the local community for 37 years. They are part of the Interfaith Community Action Council, Inc., and are located in Temple Hills, Maryland. Their mission is to provide an emergency supply of food to those in need. They have provided food for over 1,650 families every year, which represents over 5,000 individuals. The Fort Washington Food Pantry is also a 501c3 nonprofit located at St. John's Episcopal Church in Fort Washington, Maryland. A joint ministry of St. John's Church and Grace Lutheran Church, the Fort Washington Food Pantry is a volunteer effort where 100% of every donation goes to buy food or essential equipment. The food pantry distributes food every Saturday to over 150 families every week. The donation bu button is at the very top of the video description below, and also on the Maryland Choral Society's website, www.marylandchoralsociety.org. Again, all donations today will go directly to these organizations. You can raise awareness for these causes, as well as support the Maryland Choral Society, by doing two quick things. First, simply click like on this video so that more people will be made aware of it. Then share it with family and friends, either via social media or email. We'll archive this event for later viewing so that all can enjoy the music. And speaking of music, let's turn our attention now to Haydn's Te Deum, commissioned by Empress Marie Therese of Austria. If you'd like to view a program, simply click on the video description below. There, you'll find a link that will take you to a document with texts, translations, and program notes for this event. I hope you enjoy listening to this music today as the members of the Maryland Choral Society bring you a royal feast of music.
Music is a crucial part of all our lives. The emotional toll the pandemic has wrought on all of us is profound. 
the loss is deepened by the fact that engaging in choral music, which upholds and strengthens so many of us, is difficult, if not impossible, at this time. With the advent of effective vaccines, however, there is hope on the horizon that we will be able to engage in large-scale choral singing again. In this spirit, the members of the Maryland Choral Society wanted to share with you these messages of what music has meant to them before, during, and beyond the pandemic. I am one of an estimated 54 million Americans over the age of 18 that participates in a choral group. Choral singing to me makes me feel optimistic, resilient, and mindful. And being a member of the Maryland Choral Society for over four decades, well, it's like having an extended family. One of the best things that I did for myself was back when I decided to organize my schedule so I could join Maryland Choral Society. Choral music is my joy and it has been my great sustainer in my life. I am so thankful for the Maryland Choral Society. Over the years with the Maryland Choral Society, I've found it to be time spent in a safe space with um, supportive friends who, who, who focus on making good music for the enjoyment of others. As exciting as it is to sing for an audience, for me, it's just as gratifying to be able to, as a member of this chorus, rehearsing week after week, to get to know in depth some of these great works of art of the last 500 years and actually recreating those artworks. Practicing and preparing get me out of my mind space and away from my problems and performing help me express emotions that are hard for me to express in other ways. Over the years, I have learned so, so very much about my voice, about singing together, about ensemble, about techniques. I don't think there's anything like being part of a team and working together to accomplish something or produce something that you've all put in equal work on and it just comes together. And that's just a, that's a great uplifting thing for me. It makes me feel like I'm important. It makes me feel like I'm part of something bigger than myself. And I've always really appreciated that. Singing means love to me. My whole family sings, so music has always been a huge part of my life. Singing brings me comfort and joy and hope. It's a powerful way to tell stories and express emotions. It helps us connect to each other. I get to learn from other singers, from the director, from the accompanist. I discovered that discipline was a good thing. And then, you know, we go through these evenings of working and working and working and practicing and practicing and practicing. And then suddenly the music gets glorious. When you're in the middle of a group of good singers and this big warm chord swells up, well, it's literally a physical thrill. It goes right up my spine. I can't wait till we're back to get to do that again. There's something profoundly magical for choir members when our breath aligns and we feel that emotion of creating thoughtful music together. I love it so much. I love that feeling of being together with a group and uh, making music together. It feels so good to hear the voices around me. It allows me at times to experience a great oneness with all of creation in an expression of divine love. It, music is, a, is an avenue of personal expression. Uh, so much can be expressed through music. Anger, joy, uh, sadness, despair, even hopelessness if, if need be. But it's a way to, to get things outside yourself. And I've always appreciated that opportunity at Will. 
as far as I'm concerned, one of my greatest joys that I have experienced in music is being part of the choral sound and the choral instrument that Dr. Buchanan makes of us. And also sharing that joy with my husband who participated in the Choral Society for many years as well. Singing sacred choral music is expressing the best and truest part of me. It is for me a piece of heaven. Then you multiply that one voice by 10, by 40, by 50 or more, and you have a group, a choir who's working together to create a living and wonderful sound with all of the voices weaving together in a tapestry that can be bold and majestic or jubilant or softly shimmering with such beauty that it touches your heart. Music is my escape from reality, especially during the pandemic. When the pandemic stopped us from rehearsing together, well, that was challenging. And although we rehearse virtually and we've participated in a successful concert virtually, it pales in comparison to the real thing when we can truly blend our voices. I really miss us being together every Monday night. We would have fellowship together. We would have wonderful singing together. We would have challenging singing together. When we can get together again and sing in person, I look forward to that, as singing is truly powerful, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I can do the singing at home alone. I can do the singing in my car alone. But I can't do the group work during the pandemic, and I am so looking forward to being with other singers and exploring this wonderful, wonderful world that takes me away from all the cares of this world. I look forward to it because there's nothing like being in a group and making that contribution and having the contributions of others with song. It just really, really lifts my heart. It has lifted my heart through this very serious year that we've had dealing with the pandemic. I can't wait until we are together again and we can sing and hear each other and just make beautiful music together. Thanks so much again for being with us today for our 2021 March concert, A Royal Feast. We turn now to Mozart's Mass Number no. 15 in C major, the Kronungsmesse, or Coronation Mass. Its first likely performance was on Easter Sunday of April 1779 in the Salzburg Cathedral. Its first documented performance, however, was at the Coronation of 1792, when Francis II became Holy Roman Emperor, and it remained a favorite work for royal events at the Imperial Court of Vienna throughout the 19th century. I hope this music lifts your spirits today. And if you're able, you can lift other spirits as well by making a donation today. As a reminder, 100% of all funds raised benefit the Oxen Hill Food Pantry and the Fort Washington Food Pantry. Simply click on the donate link below or visit our website, www.MarylandChoralSociety.org. We'll return in May for a virtual concert featuring Johannes Brahms' German Requiem. But until then, sit back and enjoy the joyful strains of Mozart's Coronation Mass.